You are part of Professor Zlatyev's team tampering with control of local weather with its new invention, the weather machine. If you like the idea of tampering with weather, you've come to the right place. Today, we are unboxing the latest Eagle Griffin Games weather machine designed by Vital Lacerda. Hi, my name is Nick and we are Tabletop Duo. So grab your favorite drink and let's start the unboxing. And here it is, the weather machine by Vital Lacerda. So let's start by removing the shrink wrap. On the front cover we have this amazing concept art by Ian O'Toole. And in the back we can see all the components and the board assembled. Alright, so let's open it up. As usual we have the pamphlet. And we have the rule book. I like the colors, it looks beautiful. Then we have the insert guide, which shows you how to put the components in the box. This is really, really good. Then we have four player aid books. This is how they look like. Really nice design, I love it. Then we have another book for the saboteurs. And also one pamphlet for the upgrade pack. Now we have a few punch boards, we have three small ones. Then we have the player boards, They're, the design is amazing, I'll try to give a zoom here so you can see, and seems really complicated, complex, a lot of places to put tokens and so on. You see you have a double layer here, so you can put the, the token and it's not going to slip outside. Nicely done. For the boards we have the um, pink, orange, kind of dark, and gray, and then yellow. Some stereo foam and more punch boards, which contains all the tokens. We have a total of three punch boards are some really cool ones for the different weathers. Again, all of the design of them are amazing, like the concept arts and everything looks great. Look at that. An assortment of tokens, some mini design boards, snow, wind, sun, solar, and then for water. We will see more when we play the game, what this means. And then we get to the player's board which is huge. I'm gonna open on the table so you can see with details. Again, the design of it is amazing. It's really well done. Lots of different places uh, to put tokens and so on. So again, it's Vital Acerda. It's awesome. And then we get to the inserts. So first I'm gonna remove the cover, which is good because then you don't have your tokens going everywhere. And then here, lots of things. So first I'm gonna start with the coin. So I guess this is the current player's coin and it's made of metal. And it's also signed by Vital Lacerda and Ian O'Toole. And um, this was given if you participated on the Kickstarter, I believe. And this is the one you get if you did not participate on the Kickstarter. It's just a wood token. And then we have an assortment of tokens. These ones match the player colors and you have the symbols on them. It looks like a storm or something. These ones have different symbols on them. So you have like a fire, you have the uh, nuclear symbol, biohazard one some player markers and these two guys that looks like spies and here you have an automaton for each player and then these two wooden tokens and a lot of other book tokens and more book tokens some award shaped tokens like like this some lock tokens that's really nice and i have never seen a wooden lock token before more tokens and these ones probably markers and this one has like a repeat or 
something similar. There's also this package for replacement government markers, which comes with three dark blue tokens with again the symbol of the cloud and the two lightning bolts. Okay, so uh, here we have a bunch more of those um, book tokens. So I'm gonna remove this layer of the insert because there are more below. Right here, you have tokens for each one of the players and also some cards. The players tokens come with like more automatons and also with a scientist. Look at that. And you also have these markers. I guess it's for the saboteur or something like this. If you have a, a different character right here and also what seems to be like a monster robot or something and now let's check the pack of cards as with most of the other Lacerda games the cards don't have any text on them it's just images and uh, silhouettes to describe the actions really nice art the design the thickness I think it's okay it would be better if it was a little bit more thick but it's okay and that's it. As you can see, this game has beautiful artwork, design, amazing components and insert as it's customary to all Vital Lacerda games. I can't wait to try it out and give you folks our review. You can also check some other board games we showcased on our channel over here. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!